like this. I know, that's what I'm concerned about. Welcome back to the kitchen. I just got Manly down for his nap this afternoon and while the kids are finishing up their schoolwork, I'm gonna be making a few things in here. First, I need to make some egg noodles. I'm gonna make a new recipe tonight. I think it's called an eight layer. Yeah, eight layer casserole is what it's called, but I need egg noodles for it. So we're gonna make some homemade egg noodles and I have lots of bananas over there that I need to do something with. So we're gonna make some banana bread. I was gonna make a new banana thing, but the kids love that copycat Starbucks banana bread that we make. So we're just gonna make that. I'll go ahead and let the oven be preheating for that because it's not gonna take long to make these egg noodles. The first thing we're gonna do is put the dry ingredients in here. We just need one and three fourths of a cup of all purpose flour. There's Roosty, it's about that time. For him to start crowing like crazy. We've got the flour in there. Now we need half a teaspoon of salt. I'm just gonna let this stir that around a little bit. Now in this bowl, we're gonna put one egg plus two egg yolks. So I'm gonna take the whites and just put them in this jar and I'll stick them in the refrigerator. There we go, now I'll just stick those in the refrigerator and we'll add them to some scrambled eggs sometime. Or I might just make a fried egg white. A lot of times if I eat an egg on a biscuit or bagel or something, I like it to be fried and I love just the fried egg whites. Okay, back to this, I'm getting hungry. Okay, so we have one egg, two egg yolks in there. We need a third of a cup of water, a teaspoon of vegetable oil, that's it, we're just gonna whisk this together and then we'll add it in over here with the flour. You don't have to have a mixer, not even a hand mixer or anything to do this, you can do it all by hand. We're just gonna pour it over in here and I'm pouring it right into the middle as best I can. You know, it went to the edge a little bit. Alright, so we're bringing this over here. I just have a little bit of flour. I'm going to sprinkle it on my hands. And then I'm just going to pull it off the sides and form a little dough ball. So now we're just going to let this sit here and rest for about 10 minutes. While it's resting, we'll go ahead and be getting the stuff ready for the banana bread. First, we're going to go ahead and mash up the bananas. These should not take very long to mash up at all. They are absolutely ready to be made into banana bread. It was their purpose in life. Okay, bananas are mashed. I leave little chunks of banana just because we like to get that little banana chunk throughout the bread. So that's why I leave mine just a little chunky. I'm gonna wash up my red bowl real quick. I'll be right back with y'all. So in here, we're gonna put half a cup of vegetable oil, one egg, two tablespoons of buttermilk, or you can use regular milk, half a teaspoon of vanilla. So we're just gonna whisk all of that together. We need two cups of flour, all-purpose flour, a teaspoon of baking soda, one and one-eighths of a cup of sugar, and a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. Now we're pouring in the bananas, and that's it for this banana bread, y'all, unless you want to add some kind of nuts or anything. And whenever I do add pecans to this, because that's what I would add if I had some. I don't think I have any. Let me see. Y'all, we are in business. I'll show y'all how I do it. Okay, let me get my loaf pan ready. If you've got some bananas that are staring you down, want you to do something with them, do this. So I'm just gonna take some of these pecans. If you need to chop up some nuts just real quick, you don't wanna get a little bag to do it, just put them in a bowl, crush them up with your little honey thing. Now, we're just gonna sprinkle these over the top. Now we bring back the egg noodle dough. And let's see, I'm gonna get a little cutting mat here. We're just gonna sprinkle it with a little bit of flour. 
Now we're just gonna knead it for just a few minutes. Okay, so we've got this ready. We're gonna divide it into four pieces. I like using my pizza cutter for this, but I can't find it at the moment, so we're just gonna use a knife to cut it in half, and then we'll turn it this way. Yeah, I could've used that. Jonah found this for me. We take a piece of the dough. If you have a big enough space, you could probably just do this whole thing all at one time. I could probably do it over on the counter over there, but we'll just do it this way. Since we already cut it up into the pieces, we're just gonna roll it flat. You can do this where you measure out the noodles perfectly so they're all the exact same size, but we're not, you know, we're not worried about that. We don't care if they're all the exact same size or not, but you can do it that way. We're just gonna do it this way, where you just roll it flat and then we'll cut it into the egg noodle pieces. egg noodles. We're just going to sit these over here on this cutting board and they're just going to sit here and dry until time to make supper. Then we'll cook them. is I have no idea where that little toy bathroom came from. It came in some kind of toy they got, Jonah said. Apparently they didn't want the bathroom and gave it to Manly. What's inside? What's inside here? Let's see. Ooh. I'll show you. What it is is a new saucer swing because the kids, they wore that other one slap out, y'all. It's stuck. It's not stuck, mama can get it. Well, said I could. Ready, on the count of three, pull one, two, three. Uh, we got the kids that other one at Christmas time. They absolutely loved it and they loved it to death. It completely fell apart, so we have a new one here. Hold this over there for me. Let me get this part that you're standing on. Ooh, coupon. Let's get it working. That's what we gotta do. We gotta get it working here. Two. Hold on. Let me get my go-go gadget out. All day. four. <laughs> I know that's what I'm concerned about. It's gonna be this tree might be too high for this. Oh, I love something like this. Oh, there's something weird going on here. Well now. that's what it said. I think this tree's too high for this one. The other one must have had longer straps. Try to hand it to him at least, Jake, so we can see what it's going. Uh, I can see, baby. It's going to take somebody from the Book of Genesis <laughs> to get on this thing. Uh, well, you're going to have to. Look, well, you can let go. I can pick up that no, mom, I can't. <laughs> right now, I'm in a more comfortable position. Mom. Apparently, this is for a short tree. <laughs> Oh my goodness, y'all, one time, me and Titus watched this thing. Remember that thing That's we were watching? That's exactly how I thought it went, right there, Mama. Oh, I'm sorry. Lord have mercy, my go-go gadget eyeballs ain't what they used to be. I, I see this. Isn't it a nice actually, day? Actually, nice breeze. Manly's found something very enjoyable. <laughs> what I'm doing is stretching that knot. Tyler, come on, give me a little bit more. <laughs> Do you want to swing? No, thanks. 
You want mama to swing with you? Inside. I'm about to start cooking supper. The egg noodles, I moved them over here because the oven was still warm from the banana bread and I thought it might be keeping them from drying out, you know, as quickly as they could. So I moved them over here. Now I transferred them to one cutting mat because they're all, they're pretty much ready. There are some like the thick ones that are still a little bit soft, but most of them are dried out and ready to cook. Eight layer casserole is about to go down. Y'all make sure you come back tomorrow to see it. I believe it could get interesting. It's something new. Oh, then that's not cooked. <laughs> She's gonna dress with this. I love you too. 